Hey everyone, Tyler Burge. Welcome to Arcade Thursday, and we are continuing looking at Midway Arcade Treasures PS2. Last week we looked at 720 Bubbles, Defender 1 and 2, Gauntlet, and what's this one? Again? Oh, Blaster. So if you haven't seen that one, go, uh, please, go check out part 1. And get caught up before checking out part two. Or if you just want to go back, don't put it in your watch later list. Anywho, we're going to be looking at Joust 1, 2, Marble Madness, Paperboy, Rampage, and... What's this? Clax! Alright, so we're going to start with Joust. This is a very simple game. You are on a flying ostrich. And the object of this game is to eliminate... The other people and get their eggs because if you don't get their eggs they'll respawn and they're angry when they respawn there is no shooting there is no oh get back no ah! no don't land on my head Come on. Come on down. So this is definitely a game where you got, want to have some patience. It kind of plays like Balloon Fight. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there. So survival wave. If you remember like the original Balloon Fight on the NES, that's pretty much what it is. This is. But this came before Balloon Fight. Alright! So as time goes on, as you notice, the lava starts growing, or getting higher. More enemies start coming, and faster- Oh, we just got knocked! Is there coming faster? And if I'm not mistaken, I think a hand comes out of like the ground lava. Oh, ah. Blah. You, you think you're gonna be able to get off the ground and the game's like, nope. Because these, these guys are jerks. So that's what happens if you uh, don't collect the egg in time. The bird comes back. And they're back in play. Thy game is over. <laughs> so that's pretty much the um, joust. And we will jump into joust too. All right, Joust 2, here we go. So you can choose on what wave you want to start on. We're just going to do wave 1. So it's pretty much all the same game as before. Uh, just new levels, you can transform new audio oh they do give you a lot of guys which is nice get up there and we teleport to the blues Oh my 
again. They're just rehatching. Ah! Ah, you stupid bird. I don't want to be careful. No, we won't be continuing. It is the 90s, and there is time for... Clock! This is Atari's puzzle game. Let's go with wave six. Oh, wrong one. Clack wave. So the object of the clack is to get your colors in a row. You can get them up, down, left, right, or diagonal. You have a multicolor, which you can use for any color. Speed it up too. And there you go. That's a clack. You can also get them in diags. Oh, shoot. It's funny, on the original NES version, they actually had it where if you hit a certain amount of points and got a picture, they would send you a t-shirt! And that's how you play Clack! And there, yep, there are ways where you have to do what they say in order to complete the game. Or the level, I should say. Now, it's nice that you can also stack them on top. <gasps> I didn't want to put you there! This is bad. This is bad. Maybe we can save it. Ah! I'm in a panic! I'm in a full-fledged panic right now. That's one thing you don't want to do in this game, is panic. Crap! So the lead bars mean that we, when we're dropping that's game. <laughs> this is definitely a great puzzle game. And if you start at level one, it teaches you how to do clacks. Uh, this is actually one of the first puzzle games I played before Tetris and Columns. Yes, it was ported onto the original NES. Actually, a lot of these games were ported to the original NES via Tengen. Anywho, we're going to go move on to our next game. Alright, so we are on to Marble Madness. Now, I played this game once for Arcade Thursdays, but we're going to do it again. Because it's so much fun! The object of Marble Madness is just to get through the maze. Start for point A to get to point B while avoiding obstacles. Oh no! I felt like we could have saved that. There we go. 
Wow. Uh, void of worms. No. We were just on the ramp. This game, I, I still feel that this game would be great to play with a trackball. No, 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 no. Really? We were right there. Ah, <laughs> uh, boy. I could redo it, but we've already done Marvel Madness for K Thursday. You guys want to see new games, so we'll move on to our next one. Alright, so we're at the, the Amazing Paperboy! That chosen Paperboy of the month. <laughs> and I, I love these high score names. That the boy. Uh, let's see, we got... Oh, I thought I saw a pig. Oh well. So we'll start on Easy Street. Darn it. So the object of paper boy is to get the paper on the doors, doorsteps, or in a mailbox. You hear that sound? It means that you have been it on the door. I'm on pedal. For some reason he does not want to pedal. Oh, we can't view the options. And you, you can use your papers f to destroy stuff, too. Alright. Why ain't you paddling? Serves you right. I, I'm gonna have to pause this and give me one moment. I wanna know what the controls are because for some reason we're not pedaling. Alright, so we are on the amazing paperboy that delivers perfect service, earns honors. That the boy, I, I love how they did their names. Uh, that is, uh, yep, there is. Middle Road Pig. <laughs> <laughs> so every time you start up, you'll get like some quote. So the object of the game is to deliver your papers. Orange houses are your subscribers. The black houses are your non-subscribers. If you land it on a doorstep, great. But if you can get it in a mailbox, it's even better. And you can also use your papers to break things. But you don't want to break your anything on your subscribers. Oh! Well, that's going to count us. That's going to hurt us. Want to avoid cars and other obstacles that are in the road. Go, 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 go! There we go. And that's one for the mailbox. There's really no time limit either, which is nice. You can go at your own pace with this one. See, can we get him? Nope. One more. 
There we go. We got him. We stopped the thief. And broke their window. <laughs> uh, we're losing houses. So that's what happens when you rush. So now we're on a training course. So at the end of every level, you do get a training course. Oh, I love you too! Random person holding the sign. Well, let's see how bad we did. Oh, we only missed three. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. We'll take that. It's Tuesday. There's another one lost. I don't, I, first time I've ever noticed a smiley face. But nice to get that in the mailbox. Let's like. Oh my, we're missing mailboxes! Well, at least we're making it to the end of the uh, training course. That's, that's pretty cool. But I feel like we're going to lose more houses. Yep. Well, look on the bright side. If we just get one subscriber, we can start all over. Ah, Wednesday. Oh, we should have gotten those papers. I always thought, though, if you landed it in the front yard, like, wherever it was in the garden, it should count. Go, 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 go! Watch the tire! That stunk! All right, we got one in the mailbox. Ah! Looking for a passenger? <laughs> That's something you should not say at a hearse. Hey, got. We got an easy street tie score. All right, so I do believe we have one last game to look at. Rampage! I love me some Rampage. This game was definitely inspired by the Universal Monsters, you know, Wolfman, uh, King Kong. I, I, I do believe Lizzie is based off Godzilla. Ah, oh, darn it! I gotta stop doing that. Experimental vitamins has ill effects. So the object of the game is just to destroy the town and eat everything. Well, not everything, because there are some things that will hurt you. Can we grab him? Nope. Jump off the building! If you do not jump off that building before it comes down, it will bring you with it. 
Give you that guy. He, he gonna give you a heartburn. Yeah, it's kind of the other side. Oh, we're in Julia. Day two. That's really funny. Bob. Uh, the cars? No, you can smash them. If you get a... Oh, wait. There's a, there's a pretty girl. Let's get the pretty girl. Wait, are this gaining points on her? Oh, oh, she's punching us! No, 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 you don't... You do not punch me, lady, and get away with that. Come here, you. So I think the bomb comes in if you're like standing around for a while and the game's like, okay, this will encourage you to keep going pretty much. I thought you could crush them, apparently not. Oh, time to take down Chicago. <laughs> Now this is what I was thinking. If you have a second person, you got a trolley, you can actually bat that thing back and forth, which is really fun. Oh wait, it's feeling the trolley. There it is. Bop bop. <laughs> So as I'm sitting here playing, I'm going to ask, what has been your favorite game so far out of the Midway Arcade tre Treasures? Uh, what are you looking forward to seeing? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you like these compilation games, uh, let me know if there's one that you want me to take a look at. There's a bunch of them. Namco put a, a bunch out. Yes, you're naked, by the way. When you lose all your health, you become naked. Add coins to continue game. But I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. This was Midway K Treasures Volume 1 Part 2. <laughs> Next week we will continue on with Part 3. But um, yeah, let me know if there's a compilation disc or series you want me to look at. Tell me in the comments. Now go put some out. Capcom put a bunch out. So hit me up. Until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe, share with your friends, and tap off notifications. Until then, later!